also a bit inspired by Viktor Schauberger, who tried to recreate natural water flow. In an earlier version, the composter module was attached to this vortex, Today's mission, add water and leak test. Check for leaks while opening the IBC drain and fill up the system with water to the 500 liter mark. Tip, it did not rain recently. Okay, let's see. Last time Conrad used silicone to add an additional seal to the feed through fitting in the glass of the filter tank. The silicone is cured now and it should not be an issue if we switch on the water cycle. To do just that, we need some kind of pump or a hose to attach to the pump to connect the water source to the system. It did not rain recently and we have 500 liter of water included in our rent. So for the water of the secondary IBC, I will wait for a rainy day. Today, I just take this piece of hose. Let's go. Before I add additional water, I first check what happens if I open the valve at the drain of the full IBC tank. Water will flow into the pipe and if there is a leak we will see this immediately. You can see here some water is leaking through the seal of the handle at the drain of the IBC. It was only a little bit and appeared only during the turn of the handle. If it's fully opened or closed, the water stopped, which is perfect. We can now add some more water to get the cycle started. From an earlier iteration, there is still a pipe connected to the tap in the bathroom, which we can just turn on. The water will create this nice vortex, which I created on purpose. It not only looks cool, but also helps with the speed of the flow through the pipe. And it's also a bit inspired by Viktor Schauberger, who tried to recreate natural water flow. In an earlier version, the composter module was attached to this vortex, which transported the harvested black soldier fly larvae and flies into the fish tank. We have two ways to add water to the system. We can use tap water via the city's water supply, or we can use collected rainwater. The pipe goes below the door frame, up the wall and through it, exiting on the other side with an outflow into the fish tank. The end will be attached to the new harvesting pipe in the composter module, which I will cover in the next episodes of this series. The filter tank gets filled via the plumbing as planned. The outflow of the pipe in the filter tank needs to be below the water level of the IBC in order to keep flowing. This will also permanently submerge the standing pipe filter elements in the filter tank, which makes the filter more efficient and was not the case previously with the overflow siphon. With the water level reaching its desired height, we can attach the pump to transport water into the app and flow grow bed, which starts the water and therefore the filter cycle. I used the smallest pump for now, since the pumps, which usually pump the water 4 meters up to the ceiling, are too powerful in this temporary setup. For now, it's just important to get the cycle running. It will change with the development of the system. The current siphon works quite well too, which means it starts and breaks now in perpetuity once the pump is running. The splashing noise is a bit loud, but I will attach a longer piece of pipe to the grow bed anyway to split the water flow so that both IBCs can be fed once the bell siphon kicks in. With the water level at around 500 liter, we can switch off the water supply. This concludes today's mission. Subscribe for the next episode and leave some feedback in the comments below. You could also check out this video. Or if it's your birthday, maybe this one. He